Hey everyone, so we're gonna do some more nail painting and stamping today and starting with acetone in our nails to clean any oils, any buildup and we're gonna do that using a precision brush. And just get some acetone on your nails, the little corners, the tip of your nail as well. The idea here is to clean it so that we can get rid of any oils and that the polish adheres better to your nails. As usual, I'm also gonna show at least one nail in normal speed uh, and the rest I'm just gonna speed it up. For our base, I'm using Holo Taco's Smoothing Base. I really like this one. I do have some issues applying it. It applies a little streaky for me, so I can't really use it just by itself like it was my original plan when I got it. But as a base, it works pretty well. It lasts long and all of Christine's products are really good. All the Holo Taco things I have are extreme quality. So here, first nail at normal speed, just so you guys can enjoy how slow I am and the rest I'm speeding it up. It's important to always use a base coat to avoid any staining on your nails and to not damage your nails. This is the stamping plate we're gonna use later on. It's from a Brazilian brand called Unhas de Mulher, which is basically like women's nails. <laughs> That's the name. And this one has a little like candy motif. I chose this one because I was going to a friend's birthday. So I was like, I wanna have a birthday team for my nails. And I already used one of the sides, but the other one I didn't. So it still has the protective film which is that blue film covering it. So first step is to remove that. I usually use tweezers just to help me get started, but I'm very careful because the tweezers are metal and it can scratch the plate. And I'm also careful because this plate doesn't have a protective cover. So if the metal slips on my fingers, it can hurt. So I'm always careful with plates that don't have that protective cover. And here are some of the designs I really love, like these little ice cream cones that have little animals on them, like the little reindeer and the pigs, it's just so cute. And these overall nail designs I think are great also with the little candies. So now we're checking if our nails are dry with the base coat so we can apply the nail polish. The nail polish I'm using is from a Brazilian brand called Dilus, and it's from their line Jelly Pop, which are jelly-like polishes. I really like this line. I've been getting really into jelly polishes. I think they are very forgiving when you use them. You don't have to be like perfect with the application. And this color here is called Marshmallow. So I thought it was gonna play nicely with the theme of birthday and candies and cake that we were going for. First nail at normal speed and the rest we're just gonna speed it up. Just so you guys have some idea, I'm speeding it up by five. I am very slow, but I like to have the real time speed just so it sets like a realistic standard. So you guys know it's not that easy, it's not that fast and you don't feel bad or anything when you're doing it yourself and it doesn't look exactly like the video. This is what it looks like in one coat. I'm going to apply about two to three coats and we'll be able to see the pink come out a little bit more. Going in now for the second coat. I did wait for it to dry a little bit before going in with the second coat. Again, first nail at normal speed and the rest I'm going to speed it up by times five. I like to always, I think you guys can see it at the end, wrapping the tip of my nails. That's just basically painting it a little bit on the tip 
that helps the nail polish seal it in a bit better to last longer to avoid any chipping on your nails as well. And now going in for the third coat, you guys can see the jellies, they build up very slowly, they are very sheer, so you can really play that up and get whatever type of shade you want. I really wanted the pink to come out a lot, so that's why I'm going with more coats here. I don't know if you guys saw, but I skipped my ring finger because on the ring finger I'm coming in with this topper called Strawberry Jelly. This is by Brazilian brand Hits. And this is a topper with a shade of pink. It's also a jelly and it has some golden flakes. I love these golden flakes. They look like autumn leaves, like when the leaves are golden and brown and they fall. It just reminds me a lot of fall in places that have <laughs> fall, autumn. Uh, here in Brazil, we don't really get the seasons so well defined like that, but it reminded me of that like we see in the movies. And it's a beautiful topper. The shade of gold matches really well uh, with the pink. I'm taking a little longer on this one because I'm trying to get the placement of the flakes kind of like how I want it and not just applying it normally. It does come out really well, but still I wanted to have some control over it. I hope you guys can see it, that little gold coming through, but with a little bit of, I think, almost like an orange gold. I guess that's why it reminds me of like autumn leaves. And now for the stamping, we have our clear jelly stamper, our plate. I also have a little silicone mat where I can clean my scraper. And I really love this side of the stamping plate. I like these stamping plates that have the design all over. I'm gonna use on top of my nails these fast drying drops just to get the nail polish really dry so we can stamp over it and so it won't like drag the nail polish or stain it or anything when we're stamping. I'm also coming in with a stainless steel stick to clean off some edges where I had some buildup. I'm also coming in with a precision brush and some acetone to help with that cleanup. Because we did have three coats, there was some buildup with the polish. But again, jelly polish is so forgiving. Even if I didn't clean it, I think it would be fine. It's so sheer, but when you see it up close, uh, it makes a difference. So it's nice to clean it up. Now checking in if they're dry, you guys are getting a little spoiler of my other hand that's already stamped and already has the polish as well. For the first design I'm gonna pick is that top left one, which is a bunch of like candy wrappers. And those big squares are usually designs meant for you to apply all over your nail. They do fit on my nails. My nails are long, but they're not that long. I know some people that have bigger nails and some of these designs don't really fit the nail. But I guess that's why it's good to have some of those plates where you have the designs all over because then you can make sure you can cover your entire nail no matter the size. And we're gonna apply stamping polish. I'm using black stamping polish by Brazilian brand Carimbus de Unha, which is basically like nail stamping, the name in Portuguese. I'm gonna apply just a little bit at the start of the design, because when we scrape it, it's gonna drag the polish through the rest of the design, so it's gonna pick it up. Then I go over with the jelly stamper, and I like to say I just bounce it over the design. I just roll over it bouncing making sure I'm not pressing, making sure I'm not going back and forth. Otherwise, you won't be able to pick up the design. Especially with the jelly stampers, they are kind of finicky. 
And I'm going to use that one on my middle finger, just trying to get the placement there. The design looks so good. It's so satisfying when you can get a good stamping on your stamper. Because anyone that's done stamping knows sometimes nothing comes on. So when you get like a really good one, it's super satisfying. Here, I'm just cleaning the plate, just using acetone and cleaning my scraper as well. So we can work on some more of the other designs. Never use acetone or polish remover on the stamper. On the plates, you're fine. Just never use it on the stamper. Now I want to pick up some of the cute little animal designs. I really like the big one. I think it's going to work good with the polish because it's pink. So it kind of looks like a little pig. And man, I just love these little animals. The reindeer one is so cute. Again, we're just going to bounce it off the plate. And here's our little piggy ice cream cone. The part of the top where it has like a little smudge doesn't matter because it's not going to touch my nail once I apply it. If you are applying on a nail which is bigger and the top part might get on your nail and you don't want it, you can always clean that on an adhesive surface or with some tape before you stamp. Just make sure you act fast because if you let the stamping design dry on your stamper, it will be harder to apply it and might not come off as well. There are some techniques if that happens. You have a lot of time, you don't have to be that fast, but keep, keep time in mind when you are working with stamping. And here I'm just cleaning it off. The ear of the pig didn't really come off well. It was kind of hanging off of my nail. So I'm just making sure it sticks to my nail. And now I'm picking up some of the designs at the bottom of the plate. Apologies for turning it upside down here. It was just easier to work with the silicone mat. I'm picking up some, again, candy wrapper designs. So this first scraping didn't turn out great. The design on the right did not quite pick up the polish. As you guys can see, there was a little bit of a gap there. So I'm just gonna clean that off and try again. And just to demonstrate to you guys what it would look like if I waited and tried to pick it up, nothing came off. It was just too little polish and I waited too long. So cleaning it off, starting again. Cleaning the scraper as well, otherwise we're dragging half-dried polish all over the stamping plate, which is not great. So going again, and this time came off nicer, bouncing the stamper over it, and you can see the designs clearly. Again, we have a little bit of mess at the edge of the stamper. That's fine. It's not going to brush off against any of my nails. So we can stamp the design without cleaning it up necessarily, but we can clean up if you want. I did clean off some of that mess that was there at the edge of the stamper. And when I did that, I accidentally got a little bit of the candy wrapper designs as well, as you guys will be able to see it. So the little edges of the wrappers came off a little bit, uh, but that's fine. We can work with that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp it a little offset on my nails. And that way, the part that I took off the design is just going to look like it was outside of my nail. So happy little accidents, I guess. We just turn it around and make sure we stamp whatever we got in the nail and the part that we missed it would just be outside the nail. There was a little bit of a dirty speck there that ended up getting on my nail, but we'll be able to fix that also. I'm going to pick up another design to stamp on that same nail. And then what I'll do is I'll just try to match it with that little speck of polish that was there in the middle. So that first scraping was not great. I'm scraping off of the edge. 
so that's why it was really hard to get things off. And it was a candy wrapper also. Again, part of it did not come off in the stamper, but we could always stamp it offset, but my nail was already a bit crowded and I didn't want to use it on any of my other nails. So I decided to just try to pick up another design. And as you guys can see, I'm not cleaning my plate as long as I'm not picking up any design that has been dirtied by the nail polish, I can just keep going. And I try to plan my stamping like that, make sure I'm scraping the polish in a direction that doesn't affect any future design I wanna use. Just to make the cleanup easier, I can just do it at once. Just be careful to not do what I'm doing right there, which is putting my fingers over the dirty plate. I almost got some of stamping polish on my fingers. And stamping polish is really hard to remove. It's really pigmented. So try to avoid <laughs> touching it with your fingers or your nails because the cleanup will be a bit messy. And this lollipop came up really great. So that's what I'm gonna try to use to fix the little speck of polish there on the middle of my nail. I'm gonna try to align the bottom of the lollipop with that little speck. Great, so it's like that little speck, that little mistake never happened. Seems like it's all as intended. No one will ever know all the mistakes behind that stamping there. Now trying to figure out what to do for my other nails. The ring finger, I was originally gonna stamp something over it, but I like the way that the jelly topper looks. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. But now for the index finger, I'm looking at the entire plate design and I'm trying to see if I can find, again, it was a friend's birthday. So I'm trying to find something that has like a gift wrapping or cake. And I did find a really cool design at the edge that has a little present and a little balloon. I think it was very birthday-like. So that's what I'm gonna try to pick up to stamp on my index finger. Doesn't that look awesome? I just want to stamp that all over my nails, but I just really wanted to pick up the birthday designs. So I didn't want it to be so busy. So what I did, I did a little cleanup off camera. I'll show you guys maybe on another video how to do that, but I basically just picked off the designs that I didn't want on that nail. And I stamped just the parts that I wanted, which were the present and the balloon. And now for the cleanup on the fingers. Again, as I mentioned, stamping polish is really pigmented. So trying to clean it off with like acetone can really make everything just look black on your fingers. So one thing you can do is just use tape and you can pick up the designs from your fingers with the tape. That makes things a lot easier for cleanup when you're working with stamping. You can also use liquid latex. I'll try to use that on a future video so you guys can see the difference, but you can do most of the cleanup with the tape. What I'm doing here is just going over with the acetone and the precision brush just to clean off some more minor details. I have some of my cuticle there, as you guys can see, I don't remove my cuticles. And some of the stamping was stamped over the cuticle and the nail on a part that wasn't painted by the polish. So I'm just cleaning that off because it looks weird. It's like part of the stamping over pink and then part just over my naked nail. So just to look at a bit cleaner, you can see a lot there on the middle finger, how it looks a little bit off. And with the cleanup, it just looks much better. And this is what I did on my other hand. I did what I'm calling like encapsulated stamping. So I did the stamping and then I did one layer 
of the jelly polish over the stamping. So it looks like a sandwich of the stamping uh, between the polishes. This is a technique people call here in Brazil, they use it with glitter toppers. So they put the glitter topper and then they put the jelly over it and they call it encapsulated glitter. So I like to call this one encapsulated stamping. And here on my main nails, I'm just going over it with the top coat. It's a step we have to be really careful. You guys will see I was not that careful. I smudged some of that design on the thumb. Uh, you got to make sure you're not touching the bristles of the brush against the design because that can drag. And I was just trying to get the little corner there of my nail and it ended up dragging the design a little bit on the lollipop and I wanted to keep that and show you guys it's not always perfect and honestly you can only see it really up close I'm still really pleased with how it looks I still think it looks super cute but yeah sometimes mistakes happen and we just gotta fly with it that thumb was full of mistakes and it still came out great on my ring finger, I'm going in with a little bit more top coat just because that topper has the little flakes on it and they can tend to be a little textured. So having a thicker coat of top coat helps with that. Oh, and the top coat I'm using, by the way, is Diamond Gel by Brazilian brand Hiske. It's really good. I think it dries fast. It's the closest I could find here in Brazil to Sachet Vite, which is my favorite one. Just pick up a little bit of the cat hair there on the nail and show what the final result looks like. Again, I did drag some of the design there, but I think you can barely see it. And it looks so cute. I just love that entire nail design with the candy wrappers. And this is what my other hand looks like. I'm showing you guys what it looks like with no coat of the jelly nail polish over it. And this is what it looks like with the jelly nail polish over the stamping. I think it gives a different kind of result. It depends on what you like. And you can even do with this layering technique. You can do a stamping, do a layer of polish, and then do another stamping. And it almost looks like a little perspective between the designs. So that's another approach you can take. And here is a comparison between what it looks like without pulling the jelly over it and putting the jelly over it. Yeah, and that's it. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.